So the first question on most people's minds is the therapy that we're going to talk about today, how long or how long after the stroke can we still see results? In other words, there may be people out there that, you know, their nine months in happened two years ago. Their doctor said two years ago, this is it. This is the best you're going to see. Uh, Is there hope for them two years later? So we don't exactly know is the answer to the question. There aren't any large scale studies with this. But what I can tell you from my own experience is I've had patients have some response even as far out as as three years post stroke. So the ideal thing is to do this pretty quickly on. Now, what if and and really the best thing would be to perhaps is it wise to add this to the standard of care or should you just do this instead? what we're going to talk about today. Most of these patients will be in the hospital. So in a perfect world, you would have a great a doctor with a great working relationship with a hospitalist or an intensivist who would allow you to make some, to do some interventions with these patients. They don't often end up staying in the hospital very long because truly the standard of care is putting them on preventive future preventive therapies and then sending them out to see their primary care, which is why it tends to fall in the laps of people like me, who, which is why we are interested or have ever learned about doing things like this. So then they come back in the office. We actually have an IV room in our office. And so we can do some of these things in the IV room here, treating people as soon as days out from their surgery, from their uh, stroke, from their incident. That, that, that's got to be the best condition, that, that best situation when you get them that quickly, yeah. right? It's also better the younger the patient is because they tend to respond better. Not 100%. Obviously, someone who's healthy like you probably would respond well uh, or quicker. And someone who's already optimized their body in general, you know, hormonally or or, um, physically, metabolically is already optimized. They're going to respond better than somebody who's not. Um, All those circumstances apply. If you're you're already putting good fuel in your system, you're probably going to do better in general if you're nutritionally uh, optimized so that you're not missing all the things that those things like peptides need to heal 